Good morning and welcome to our Kids Church Online Saturday Storytime. My name's Julie and I've got two words for you to learn today. The first word is Ascension. We celebrated Ascension in the church just over a week ago and it's the time when Jesus went back to heaven to be with God the Father. The second word I've got for you this morning is Pentecost. And Pentecost Sunday is tomorrow, when we celebrate the time when God sent his special helper, the Holy Spirit. Now, don't forget our two words. I might see if you've remembered them after we've heard our story. So are you ready for our story this morning? Our story is Jesus returns to heaven and God sends his helper. Our story today starts with Jesus and his disciples. Do you remember about the very sad day when Jesus died? And the very happy day when Jesus came back to life again? Today we are going to hear about what happened next. This is the last story about Jesus and his time on earth. One day Jesus appeared to his disciples and asked them to go for a walk with him. He said to them, I've got one more important message to share with you. You need to go to all the places in the world, across the sea to different countries and places you have never even heard of before. Everywhere you go, tell the people you meet about me. Tell them about the things I did when I was with you. Tell them about the people that I made better. Tell them the stories I have told you. Tell them how much I love them. The disciples listened carefully to what Jesus said. I need to go now, back home to heaven to be with my father. Don't be afraid. I am going to send a helper to be with you, to help you be brave and do the special job I have given you. You will never be alone. When he had finished talking, Jesus went up, up past the top of the trees, past the clouds, way up into the sky and back to his home in heaven to be with Father God. The disciples were very surprised and a little bit scared, but they knew that Jesus was going to send a special helper to be with them. So they went home, hid in a house, and waited for their special helper to arrive. They were a bit nervous about what to do now that Jesus had gone. Suddenly, a great wind blew inside the house. The disciples were very scared. After the wind, little flames came and sat on each of the disciples' heads. But this was no ordinary fire. It didn't burn the disciples. This was God's Holy Spirit coming to help the disciples to live the way that God wanted them to and to give them power so they could talk bravely about Jesus to people who hadn't met him. Now the disciples felt very brave. They left the building and went out into the streets. God gave them special abilities to talk in all sorts of languages that they had never even heard before, so that all the people in the crowds could understand what they were saying. Many, many people heard about Jesus for the first time, and lots and lots of people decided that they too wanted to start following God. So God's special message spread. God's story started spreading that day and it still spreads today. This is how we know about Jesus too. We can hear his story because God's Holy Spirit makes people brave enough to share the story. And we can share the story with our friends because God's Holy Spirit will break, make us brave too. I wonder... Who can you share God's story with today? Can you remember our two words? You can? That's brilliant. 
Let's say them together after three. Are you ready? One, two, three, Ascension and Pentecost. Now something to remember from our story. Even though Jesus is now with God the Father, he promised that we would never be alone. So if you are feeling nervous or scared, like the disciples in the story were, we too can ask the Holy Spirit to help us and make us brave too. I'm going to say a prayer now, and if you want to make it your prayer, you can say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, thank you for your story. Help us to share it with other people. Thank you that you are always with us, everywhere we go. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Please fill us today. When we are weak, the Spirit makes us strong. When we are afraid, the Spirit makes us brave. When we feel alone, the Spirit brings God close, close to us. When we feel we can't, the Spirit says, you can. Amen. So in our story, we heard that when the Holy Spirit came, the first thing the disciples felt was a great wind blowing in the house. So this morning for our craft, I've made a kite. Perhaps you can make one and then maybe you could take it outside and see if it will fly. Perhaps you can run with your kite flying behind you. The instructions are all on our website and if you don't want to do a craft, there's a quick key question on the sheet for you to think about as well. Don't forget to email us your finished creations. We love to see them. So, we hope you've enjoyed our Kids Church online story this morning. We hope you'll be able to join us again next Saturday at 10 o'clock for another story. So before we go, a blessing to finish. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen.